So you want to know the best, most optimal gear progression to boost your account? Well in this video I cover in what order you should get gear, from porcelain gear to the new coconut belt and in what order to gift your event bees in. Make sure to watch until the end as it really helps me out. If you appreciate the tips in this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers before 2025. Now without further ado, I'll get straight into the video. Part 1, Porcelain Gear. At this stage it's pretty difficult to get anything wrong. Just progress through the shops, but if you know you will replace an item soon, you might as well not craft it just to save some materials. At this point, you want to buy Tabby and Photon B from the ticket tent. Once you reach the top shop, you want to come in here and you want to buy the equipment. So, this. Mono belt bag, beekeeper's mask, and beekeeper's boots. The more hive slots, until the hive slots cost more than 150 million each. So once they cost more than 150 million, you buy the porcelain dipper, then buy up to 34 hive slots, and then buy the porcelain backpack. First masks and pedal gear. After you get your porcelain gear, you should buy the bubble mask first. The bubble mask comes from the blue HQ, which is this over here. You need four different blue variants of bees discovered to access it. After that, you should get the crimson and cobalt guards from the Ace Shop, and optionally the honey mask and honey belt. Feel free to make use of the Royal Jelly Dispenser, as it is only 1 million honey per jelly. If you haven't, to get the craft materials. If you haven't yet, Macroom will be beneficial at this stage and save you a lot of time. After this, buy your 35th type slot. Now you can access Spirit Bear, and you can feel free to do this earlier um, while saving for the materials. You want to focus on your quests as a first priority to get your first Spirit Petal, which is at 10 quests. Once you get the first Spirit Petal, it is advised, it is advised to go for the Petal Belt and Diamond Mask. These will likely take you a very long time without Macroom, but it is possible. While saving materials for the mask and bell, continue buying hive slots until you reach 45 total slots. Part 3. Pre-SSA. Now that you have 45 bees, diamond mask, the crimson and cobalt guards, and the petal bell, you should focus on the coconut canister. This will provide a helpful buff to your capacity and stop you from filling up so fast. You should be finished with at least Spirit Bear's 20th quest by now, which means you should swap to an early blue hive, which I'll show on screen here. Join discord.gg slash bsgh for more information on how you can swap your hive. <laughs> After the coconut canister, buy the coconut clogs. Once you have done all of those things, you are ready to get either Petal Wand, which is optional, or Windy Bee and your Supreme Star Amulet. To get your SSA, spend honey in royal, on royal jellies and gamble for new gifteds. You should try to gift all your event bees as well to make this easier. This is a kind of RNG dependent though, so it might take some people longer than others. Stage 4, post SSA. Now you've, well now you've made it, the fabled mid game. You've already played for around 20 days of in game time now, and are ready for the more advanced and complicated items. After you get your Supreme Star Amulet, get Popstar as soon as possible, but being as close to a 5 out of 5 as you can get. A bare minimum SSA is a 3 out of 5 Popstar with the convert rate stat. Macro or actively play with a early blue frosty slash bubble hive until you get them a fix. Ideally you will play with blue until you reach level 19 to 20 before swapping to your chosen colour, even if you don't macro. Get your 50 of hive slot. Now this is where the gear progression varies. If you're going to stay blue past level 19 slash 20 instead of swapping, get the hydroponic planter if you macro for less than 18 hours a day, or the tie popper if you macro for longer than that most days. Then get the other one that you didn't get. Then buy the petal planter, then the heat treater planter, then the gummy boots, then the coconut belt, and then the pl planter of plenty. Then you have every item. If you're going red, you get the petal planter first, then the demon mask, then the dark scythe, then the heat treater planter, then the gummy boots, then the petal planter, then the coconut belt, then the planter of plenty. If you're going white, get the petal planter, then the gummy mask, then the gummy baller, then the gummy boots, then the hydroponic planter, then the heat treater planter, then the cocoa belt, then the planter of plenty. Now it is recommended to get all of those items apart from maybe the planters for white and red. And then bonus part, the gifted bees order. Firstly you should gift photon or tabby bee, depending on whether or not you want instant conversion, which in which case you gift photon. Then you gift bear bee, then gummy bee, then cobalt bee, then festive bee, then vicious bee, then puppy bee then Windy Bee, then Crimson Bee, and then finally Digital Bee. 
Well, thanks for sticking out to the end of the video. If you have any questions, either DM me on the Discord linked in the description or join discord.gg slash bsgh. This information comes from bsgh, which is Beastform Guide Help. So a thank you to their members for figuring out optimal gear progression. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because 1k, 1K is ambitious, but I know we can do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.